Hi everybody, uh, my name is Mark Wylam and I'm going to present to you today um, on my transition from uh, being the owner of Social Tennis to the owner of Sports Pros Connect. Um, I want to just take this opportunity first of all to thank um, Andrew Hill and everyone involved in the BTWL, um, obviously Mark Jeffrey, uh, for, for having me today. Um, so I'm just going to um, share my screen and uh, go through a presentation today. So thank you very much for joining me. Uh, again, I just want to say if you've got any questions, um, I can be reached at the, um, on the contact information at, at the uh, end of the presentation. So again, thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you're all well and, and doing okay in these, uh, these tough times. Um, I'm just going to share my screen now and go through the presentation with you. Thanks again, guys. Hi, everyone. So I'm, uh, I'm delighted to be here. Um, I'm going to take you through uh, a brief presentation about uh, the transition from uh, myself as a tennis coach uh, to becoming owner of social tennis and then transitioning through to Sports Pros Connect. That is how we are today. Um, so I'm uh, in this presentation, I'm going to go through a brief introduction about myself, how I ended up uh, taking over social tennis, um, what's, what inspired me to rebrand to a company called Sports Pros Connect. Um, the, some of the innovations that we've uh, taken place since the S SPC conception, um, what's next for us, and again, some information on how you can contact us. So uh, just a brief introduction about myself. So I'm, uh, um, my name is Mark Wylam. I, I first picked up a tennis racket uh, at the age of seven. I was... Um, with my family in, uh, in Yemen of all places. Uh, my dad was um, an engineer and he, uh, he basically put electricity into various different countries and, and, and helped with the projects there. So we, we used to uh, travel with him um, for, for, long, for a long time. And then uh, at times I was, uh, I was at home uh, in England at boarding school on my own. Um, so uh, from the age of 14 I'd always told my father that I wanted to run a business in sport. Um, that was my intention. My first love I will have to say was cricket um, and I saw myself potentially working in sports shops but then thought well I can't be working in a sports shop as I wanted to play Saturday afternoon cricket. Uh, that's my first inspiration. So I knew that I wanted to be um, an owner in, in sport, um, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. I then um, became, I, I then went to university at the age of 21 in Southampton. And um, as soon as I, uh, as soon as I became, um, as soon as I passed my degree, I then became a certified tennis coach. And I then took over social tennis in, in March 2016, and I've been working um, in the tennis industry since then. So that's a brief introduction about myself, um, how social tennis came about. So I took over in 2016. Um, my dad had been given, my dad created the business and he was given six months to live. Now. I mentioned before that he was an expat and he always used to work, uh, work in different countries, in poorer countries. Now he created, um, he was always part of the tennis clubs and always part of the expat uh, community. So it was, a, so he, once he retired and he left the engineering world, he then um, created and wrote his own book about uh, creating social tennis tournaments. I've seen that the book's been sold all over the world and it's, it's quite nice. Often I, I go to conferences when we can obviously travel and people say, oh, I've got that book. I bought that book all, all those years ago. So that's always a nice accreditation to him. 
So once I took over in 2016, I, my, my father had been given six months to live and he handed down the business to me. Now, I never knew what to do with it. And this was September 2015 when he passed away. So I had the business. I really didn't know what to do. Uh, I just remember a really good conversation with my dad's best friend back in England. And he says, well, why don't you go with it? Why don't you go and try to, take, to make it into a full-time venture? And that's the first time it really crossed my mind that I wanted to make the business into a full-time venture. Now, my father had been working on it part-time and he just wanted to supplement his, up, his income for his pension. So, uh, so he did it uh, part-time, but that conversation in a local pub inspired me to quit the job that I hated um, and become uh, the owner of Social Tennis. So what I did in 2016 was basically connected with and, and networked with influencers, influencers all over social media and, and, and also in person in conferences around the world. So I talked with so many different people about how to go about doing what I wanted to do. Um, to give you a, a long story, basically we were promoting tennis coaches with a, and clubs with a directory and uh, basically providing marketing a marketing platform for them, for tennis coaches. And we were also uh, selling tennis holidays as well. So the first thing that I obviously did was connected and networked with influencers around the world just to help me, help me connect and help me drive me in the right direction. I'd never taken over a business. I'd never worked on the business on my own before. So I was, I was a little bit lost about what, what to do. And these influencers really helped me um, guide me in the right direction. Now, uh, as I've mentioned before, the business was all about a uh, directory of tennis coaches and clubs. We were trying to give them marketing materials. We also added the tennis holiday side of things. Uh, after a couple of years, I decided things weren't really working how I wanted them to work. And so I had ideas in my mind. Often some of the influencers will go, well, is, is social tennis really the right name for what you want to do? And I really wanted to keep it social tennis for as long as possible uh, because obviously of my father and, and I wanted to keep it in, in, in the family and, and, and keep the brand name. However, I just felt that I couldn't take it on full time uh, at, at the, the name of Social Tennis. Um, and so therefore in March, uh, or May, sorry, May 2018, I decided to rebrand to Sports Pros Connect. Now there was a number of reasons why I wanted to rebrand to Sports Pros Connect. Um, the first reason was that Social Tennis didn't really align with the ethos of what I wanted to do. So I wanted to grow a network of tennis coaches and so nobody really wants to be known as a, as a coach that, um, that is orientated with social tennis. They want to be more of a performance related coach. Um, a lot of people and, and, that's, uh, and that's totally up to them. Um, but a, a lot of the influencers were telling me that social tennis maybe wasn't the, the right name for what I was trying to do. Um, so we wanted to add uh, tennis academies, tennis resorts to the platform. Um, and the reason that we named it Sports Pros Connect is that I always felt that, that what I was doing had the potential to be um, implemented into other sports. So I decided to go with uh, Sports Pros Connect and uh, our, our new company ethos was to connect tennis coaches and players with clubs, academies, resorts, and federations globally. And therefore, what right at the start of Sports Pros Connect, we basically promoted coaches, clubs, academies, and resorts. So that was the initial rebrand of Sports Pros Connect. I had a better name. I, was, uh, I went round, this, uh, this background is, is actually a, a huge club in Barcelona. And I went round to various different academies all around the world, all around uh, Barcelona, um, just to network with them, get to know them. And a lot of them are, are still customers of mine today. This was in May 2018. 
So we've, uh, we've moved on a lot since just doing that. Um, we, first of all, we launched a product service and event marketplace. Now I did that in Hilton Head um, at the PTR symposium two years ago now, and we've just had the, the last PTR symposium and that was um, uh, obviously a, um, of a really fantastic event uh, but it was all online so it didn't have the same um, networking ability um, but what we wanted to do with the product service and event marketplace was to create a place where a lot of people were saying oh it's a fantastic idea what you're doing but they visit the site once and that would be it we wanted to we wanted to drive traffic back to come and uh, and find what they wanted to find so we were going to uh, market products and by products i mean apps i mean nutritional products training aids online courses anything that that would really help a tennis player or tennis coach the services that that we we wanted to promote were obviously i, I guess online online um online coaching or um mental coaching anything else that again uh, would help a tennis player or coach and obviously events being holidays being tournaments being conferences and that kind of thing and we've been going for two years uh, with a, a, a product service and event marketplace i basically love going to conferences based on the fact that it, that there's always exhibitors and the exhibitors are kind of in my marketplace as well as the coaches so um, that was a fantastic addition. We've now got 70 different products. We charge annual fees. We don't charge any commissions. Um, so if, it, if you've got any innovation and, and, and any, anything that you find that you would be, that would be marketable, marketable please uh, contact me and we can, we can work on something. So then in October 2019, later that year, um, we had been getting a lot of a lot of questions from our coaches that were registered with us from the academies that were registered with us and what they did was they, they the coaches said mark do you have any jobs and the, the academy said mark can you provide us with coaches so actually it was um a natural transition for us to become a, a worldwide tennis coaching jobs platform we worked uh, back in august 19 we worked with various companies who were just trying to find coaches and, and we we're doing this on a trial basis and it became very successful so we thought right well, this is something that we've got to do and and it and again it brings people back to the platform um, so so it's very rare that if you're a coach that you come onto the platform once you'll you'll keep checking jobs you'll keep checking um checking items so what we did was we created that platform in october 2019 and we've been going through that ever since. As you can imagine, obviously COVID has been a, a, a bit of a um, bit of a stumbling block really to, for us. We were just getting some traction, just going really, really well. And all of a sudden, March 2020, COVID hit and no one was recruiting, no one was traveling, no one was moving. So we always had to, we had to innovate to find ways of, of moving forward and the the next in innovation that we came across was to create tennis player profiles now if you remember back at what what our company ethos was at conception of sports pros connect what we wanted to do was um, connect tennis players and coaches with academies resorts clubs all around the world now our initial idea in February 2020, and I was working with a business partner, Noel Walsh, many of you might have been contacted by him in the past. Um, we wanted to provide a platform where players can promote themselves, can help them to try to find uh, sponsors, find investors, and really just to make it easier to go um, to, 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 to go on tour. Obviously, February 2020 was just before COVID. We, we launched really well. We attracted three different sponsors, but COVID hit a month later and the sponsors dropped out one by one. One of our sponsors 
was willing to invest in eight different players. They wanted to create, a, they were building as such, building an academy. They wanted four ITF junior players. They wanted four um, fully professional players who were already on the tour, WTA and ATP. We were looking to find them for them. This, this guy was a, um, uh, a hotelier by trade. He, he owned 25 hotels. And obviously overnight he went from having a, a large income to having nothing because all the hotels were closed. So this was, this was a bit of an issue. And really we kind of, we tinkered with, with different ideas. We tinkered with mentorship ideas and we came up with, um, with eight really top mentors that would help our players, but it, it didn't really work out. And so, um, we have a new innovation, which we're just about to launch. Now, I'm doing this presentation, it's the 2nd of March. We believe that the, um, the date of our next innovation, which I'll speak to you more about, is the launch date is the 5th of, Feb uh, 5th of March. So um, look out for it. And, and it's an extension to our ten tennis player profiles. Okay, so what's next for Sports Pros Connect? And like I mentioned before, we've got our next part of uh, the tennis player profiles side of things. So basically what we're calling it is our tennis player profile classified section. And we're really excited by this innovation. Now, what we've done, and we're ready to go live in a few days, is we've created a section where academies, where sponsors, where clubs where coaches can offer their skills to the players on our platform. Now for the players on our platform, we charge an annual fee of 70 euros. And what we do is we create them an online profile and we, we then allow them to, um, to find something that they're interested in. Now, one of our most exciting uh, classifieds is a come, uh, an academy in Thailand, they're willing to offer two high profile players 100% scholarship to an, academy, uh, to an academy for a year, to this academy for a year. Now, obviously that's really, really exciting and we're hoping to attract many players that want to effectively apply for these positions. So whereas we have the, the job section for coaches, we uh, are doing really well with that. They have to apply physically for the jobs in question. We've got the same sort of scenario for the players. The players will have to apply for these benefits. Now, I only mentioned one benefit there. There's, there's lots of different benefits that we're offering online coaching. We're offering um, discounts off training camps just before tournaments. We're offering discounts on tournaments. We're offering uh, training partners. We're offering, we're offering all sorts of non-tennis player profiles. So, um, so there's real benefit for a tennis player that's looking to strive to, the, and to get to their next level to register with us. We'll create them a nice profile and then they can apply for the benefits that they want, rather like, as I mentioned before, the jobs. So um, the way it would work is that a player would see, right, there's a 100% there's a scholarship available in Thailand. This is just an example. Um, so I want to apply for that. I think that I've got what it takes. I'm, I'm really hungry and I really want to, want to succeed in tennis. So they would apply, they would send automatically their profile that we, that we build them. And they would send a cover letter like, the, like in a job. And they would explain why that they think that they should be the next person involved in, in, in having a, 100% scholarship at an academy. So they have to write a letter. So it's, it's almost like it's learning on the, on the blocks. So we're really excited about this innovation. It's, it's due in the next few days to go live and we're excited to have it. Now, also what's new for Football Pros can, is Football Pros Connect. So about a month ago, um, somebody that I've been in co contact with a long time ago, he was a He's a tennis coach and he owns an academy in, um, in Spain and he used to work for Nike. So he's got a lot of connections. 
in the tennis world, but five years ago, he transitioned more into the football world. And he came to me and he said, Mark, there's a huge market for what you're doing in football. So this just coincided with the time that I, I have taken on an intern to, to help us progress. And one of the projects that the intern was looking to take on was um, trans, translating Sports Pros Connect into another sport. So we're in the very early stages of creating for Football Pros Connect. So you just need to watch this space um, for that. Uh, but, but please do watch out um, in social media very soon, around tournaments, around wherever you are in the world. Tennis Player Profile Classifieds is our next launch. Guys, I want to really thank you very much for uh, watching today. I, I hope you found the information that I've provided informative and interesting. And I look forward to hearing from any of you um, about any questions or about becoming part of the platform. We're always looking for new coaches. We're always looking for new academies. We're, um, we're, we're looking to progress in a big way. So I've just left a few contacts here. Um, so you can contact me on email, info at sportsprosconnect.com, on WhatsApp, plus 353, based in Ireland, 86-792-2188. There's the website address. Um, you can look us up on Facebook, on Instagram. I'm also personally on LinkedIn and Twitter, so all the social media handles. So apart from TikTok, I haven't got into TikTok just yet. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Um, I hope that it's been informative for you and thanks for uh, giving me the opportunity, Andrew and, and Mark.